seconds prior to launch, the umbilical cord disengaged, and at 7.20 a.m. on July 21, the free world's second manned suborbital Mercury flight was airborne. Inside the Mercury Control Center, astronaut Shepard verified Grissom's condition and systems reports, and advised the test pilot of pitch and trajectory disposition. The fuel system was go. Grissom was experiencing one and one-half G, cabin pressure was eight pounds per square inch, and the oxygen system was go. All systems were go. The flight surgeon maintained close observation of the test pilot's physiological status as the flight progressed. Grissom's electrocardiograph showed no abnormalities. His heartbeat, respiration, and body temperatures were within the expected tolerances. At engine cutoff, the spacecraft made its turnaround and the astronaut was now weightless. The environmental system was monitored in the control center as the astronaut reported his cabin pressure holding at 5.5 pounds per square inch. Suit pressure was good. The flight's progress was charted on the plot boards. The spacecraft position as well as the probable landing point were observed on the world map.